Operation 7 Season 2. What do we got? The Shadow Garden wants to follow the Lord she trusts. The subtitles are a little... Uh, sorry, guys. The subtitles are a little kind of wonky, but you'll, you'll have to do with what we got. Okay. <laughs> Tofuck? Why is her face all messed up? Is she just blushing or did she fucking fall? I think she's just blushing. Yeah, 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 these are blush marks. Everybody's blushing the same way. I, I thought that Gamma just fell on her fucking face and it's just like scratched it. Oh, Epsilon. Let me guess. If Epsilon shows up, we're gonna get ha ha ha, no booba, you know, no booba thing. And I think this is the John Smith. Okay, you guys are saying this is the John Smith's conclusion. This is when. Maybe we're waiting for Delta and we're waiting for the conclusion. It's like, oh, Shadow doesn't hate us. John Smith was doing his own bullshit. And Delta's gonna come home soon, too, or something, I think. Oh my god. What? Did you know this? You can drag the subs? How did you know? What the f? This is an interactable element? What? Whoa. I did not know this. Holy shit. This is huge. I actually never knew this. That's crazy. That's actually fucking crazy. Wow. 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 Yeah, Delta's alive. Black Jugga Jugga's dead, though. We were so useless that we thought so. That's like, isn't this fucked up that Shadow is just preying on these girls' mentalities? Technically, the girls are gaslighting themselves into thinking like this, and Shadow probably doesn't even know. But like, they're like, damn, we're so fucking pathetic and useless. We thought Shadow abandoned us, but nah, he's good. That's kind of fucked up. Alpha's exhausted appearance after she got thrown off the fucking train, sobbing on the train tracks. Like, Shadow, please don't leave me in John Smith. Like, <laughs> great acting skills. Super exhausted. She's like crying. Yeah, she sits. Alone in the fireplace in a room like this. <laughs> it's kind of tuny if you think about it. Yeah! <laughs> Why are they roasting Alpha like this? This is the exact pose as the one she's like grieving in front of the fireplace. Remember? She comes home after fucking getting thrown off the train and she's like, Shadow, why are you doing this? In a room with a fireplace. This is, I hope Alpha's watching this. I hope Alpha's watching this shit, dude. A little bit different. Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is fucked up. This is fucked up. They didn't have to do Alpha this dirty. But this is what Alpha did do. Oh my god. Oh. He was watching the entire time, right? Alright, Alpha, recreate the scene for us. Come on. Show us. Show us how it's done. It was actually like this. I don't think we've seen this from the anime. But this is just full fetal position, huh? Look at this. She just rolled up in the floor. I did not expect this one to be this funny, but holy shit, them recreating the fetal positions or even just like the random positions of, oh, Alpha was crying like this. Oh no, <laughs> sad Alpha. It was sad when it was happening, but come on, like it was all part of the act. But the fucked up thing is, the girls don't know. It's just the fucking memes and games. Operation 8. The Shadow Garden wants to blather on once in a while. Oh. We got some underage drinking. Well, technically, how old is Nui? How old is Nui? Because, like, most of the Shadow Garden girls, they're like, they can't drink. I mean, then again, it's fucking fantasy world. Who gives a fuck? I guess Nui is fine. Nui is of age. Nui is actually the oldest. 
Not only is Nui's age the biggest number of all the Shadow Garden girls, the other thing that she's the biggest in is not her bust size, it's not her ass, it's her fucking forehead, bro. Nui's got a crazy five head. She took a fucking paid leave. And nothing. At this point, Shadow is supposedly... I don't know, because this is filler episode, kind of. The pool episode. Because Shadow, at the end of the John Smith arc, said, I'm gonna go fuck off now. And I think that's where he ends up in, like, Mary's Tavern, right? For the Oriana arc, but... At this point in the story, was he already traveling there? I don't know, but he wasn't here. You got Skell and Poe to go with. Nope. She ain't listening for shit. What is this cope? What the fuck? Do we really think it, you think it's because you weren't there? Sure. Yeah, sure. Delusions. Gaslighting. This is some fucking... <laughs> this isn't girl boss shit. They always just deluded herself into a fantasy. Oh, she might have had the option to go on a date with me in person. <laughs> oh. Beta was hung over the entire time. Beta was hung over the entire time not paying attention as soon as Nui mentioned that Oh, maybe Shadow wasn't there because of me and Beta's like Fuck you say, bitch! Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> know your place named number How dare a filthy number 8 to 25 a named number Say this shit in front, in front of the presence of a main shade. Uh, uh. This is kind of hilarious because the way that Beta is acting right now is exactly how Nui acts whenever she's like, uh, what's the word? Like interrogating her people like Skell and Poe. I, I think she's still fucking hungover. I, I think she's still drunk. I don't know what's going on. These noises are not just like, huh? No, these are, she's about to throw up, right? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Throw up. Puke? Who said what? Did someone make fun of Beta? What happened? She is a crying drunk. Ada? Ada? What, what did Ada say? Am I forgetting something? What did Ada say to Beta here? I'm forgetting some details right now. Ada called Beta a pick-me girl in the pool episode. Oh my god. I mean, yeah, I know. Ada did do that. And she had all these crazy, like, you know, pinch pinch things too. Yeah. And like, Beta kind of is a pick-me girl a little bit, isn't she? I mean, every Shadow Garden girl to a degree, they do simp for Shadow. But like, who like wants Shadow's affection the most? I think that's an impossible question to ask. But who like displays it the most? I don't know. Beta's definitely up there, maybe. Everyone is trying so fucking hard trying to get Shadow's attention. And then there's Delta. Delta's not even trying. Delta's just being Delta. Delta gets everything with Shadow. She's just topless on fucking top, like on, on the back of Shadow getting a piggyback ride, going on little hunting dates with them, fucking gets to talk to Sid in his regular form. Bro, everyone tries so hard, but Delta easy. The most lustful girl in Shadow Garden, probably, well, if, if we're talking about straight up lust does beta does delta count because she's talking about like she wants to procreate and i want to have 100 kids i don't really know if that counts as lust maybe that's just more practicality and like a more genetic instinct thing right so if we ignore that part who is actually just like so damn bad and horny for his shadow we saw victoria kind of victoria's is like a little bit scary she's like fanatic like epsilon does talk about shadows gaze all the time and probably beta to a degree too. Alpha keeps that shit kind of locked up, right? Alpha's like, I'm the main girl. I'm not going to simp so hard in front of everybody. But we know that I'm the main girl, so I should get a little bit more. But Alpha doesn't like put it on display. Gamma, not really. Ada, Zeta, we don't even see any of them. So now I guess it really, it really boils down to beta and epsilon, huh? Beta, epsilon, Victoria maybe, yeah. Oriana, that's not lust. That's just like actual love, which is, out of, which is fucked, right? <laughs>
Do you know how much Epsilon would beg for this? Nutrition goes to more than just my breasts. Where's it going? <laughs> Crying drunks are very awkward to be around. Classic and forgets everything that she did in during a drunken stupor and Neil has to say nope nothing happened <laughs> Alpha's the main character syndrome. I agree. I mean alpha pretty much is like the main female character, right?